What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about some different places you can go to download new textures and materials to use inside of your SketchUp models. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I wanted to talk about a few different places you can go to download new materials for use inside of SketchUp. I will also link to some tutorials down below on some different things you can do with those materials, so how to import them and use them and things like that. And so the reason you might want to download download some new materials is there's there's actually a few different reasons um, SketchUp has an, a nice start to a like texture library but what happens is you start running into things where they're kind of lower resolution so like if I kind of zoom in on this brick material you can see how it's super ro low resolution and stuff like that and also they're just uh, they're, there's not a ton of variety in here I mean there's definitely different kinds of materials but sometimes you just need something more and so the first place you can go if you don't want to look very hard or go very far as you can go to the 3d warehouse to download some different materials so like for example um, if I was to go inside of this model or in if I was to find this particular model in my 3d warehouse if I was to go over into the materials section you can actually see all of the materials inside of that particular model so you can see how I can pull this down and scroll through and just see all of these different materials in here and then you could take them and let's say for example that I like this first material this uh, stone material you could click on download and you can download that into your materials section and apply that to a face inside of your model so you do have to be really careful about that like this one for example doesn't tile really well so it's not a seamless texture so it doesn't look very natural so it's not gonna look very good in renderings or anything like that um, but it will it, it, this is a good way to start bringing in new materials you just have to be careful what you bring in um, and make sure that it's kind of a high quality thing that kind of fits what you're trying to do so that's the first way to bring those in that's a nice free way um, outside of that there are multiple different websites where you can download different materials so like for example SketchUp Texture Club has been around for a long time they have a lot of different materials that you can download and bring into your models and uh, you can log in and you can be a free member and download a lot of these textures and materials for free so you can come in here and you can download a lot of different textures in here um, you can go to the texture section and download those uh, one thing I will note those if you're planning on doing a bunch of rendering or something like that you may want to consider becoming a member um, just because um, with the rendering for example the maps um, you need to be a member like a paid member in order to download some of those maps so things like uh, bump maps or normal maps or other things like that you're probably gonna have to become a paid member in order to do that but this is a great place to start because they have a ton of different textures you can bring in I think most of them are fairly seamless as well so they tile pretty well um, another place you can go is textures.com so textures.com um, is another website where you can download textures for free um, and with textures.com you get a certain number of free credits per day so if you just want to be logged in um, as a free user you get a certain number of downloads a day you get like 15 free credits or something like that and you can use this to sort by seamless textures and uh, other things I will note same kind of thing for rendering so if you go to like the PBR materials that's gonna be the materials that have all the maps associated with them those are gonna have a lot more credits involved and you're probably gonna need to be a premium member for that that. but if you just want to download free textures or something like that they've got a bunch of great ones in here that you can bring down so another interesting site that's 100% uh, free is texturehaven.com so texturehaven.com is actually a crowdfunded and supported site so this site um, is 100% supported by patreon so they're supported by their patrons and every month um, Rob is coming out with new textures and things like that I believe these actually come with the different maps as well and they're under a Creative Commons license so you can download these and use these a hundred percent for free um, and they do ask that you support which I think is a completely reasonable thing to ask considering they're creating all of these different textures so they also have a link to HDRI Haven in here um, so they're also creating free HDRIs so there's definitely some free textures in here that you can download and they're super high quality high resolution so another site that's also doing this is called sharetextures.com I haven't used this one um, as much 
much, but it's the same kind of thing where um, they're supported by Patreon and there's different perks if you support on Patreon, but you can download all of these for free. So like for example, if you were looking for like a wood material or something like that, you can click over here and there's gonna be a number of different wood materials. And you can see how some of these are patron only materials. So if you support, then you get access to those. But if you click on these, you can download these different floor, these different materials with the maps and everything else right here. So this is another great free option. And then one more that I also have not used, um, but you can definitely check out is cctextures.com. And they are also, they are also creating, I believe, PBR materials with the different maps that you can download and bring in as well. And these are all seamless, higher quality textures. Like I said, I have not downloaded anything from this site, but it looks fairly legit and it looks to be another great option for different textures. Uh, so there's also a couple sites that have um, larger libraries and also just, uh, I don't want to say higher quality materials, but they're more on the like commercial or high quality level. So Polygon.com is one that has very high quality materials in here and they come with all of the different maps and things like that. With them, um, you get a certain number of credits each month um, if you subscribe and you can download those different materials. Uh, one of the cool things about these is they also have like different ground materials and other things like that um, that are really, really high quality. So if I look at this uh, like dirt ground material or something like that and you look at this, this is a super high quality ground material and if you were to bring this down it would have all the different maps associated with it and things like that um, there's just a, a huge kind of variety of different things in here so there's things like uh, tire tracks and ground that has like roots on it and things like that so um, these are really high quality materials um, they also have HDR images and different models that you can download and things like that and they do also have free materials that you can download so you can refine your search by free and you can see all of those different materials so if I was to go on here and I was to go to the texture section you can look at all of the free materials by going by going down to refine by free and you can scroll through this list and there's actually a bunch of high quality materials in here for free as well and then the other um, more commercial site that you can go to is Megascans so Megascans is a kick a Quixel product. Um, we talked a little while ago about Mixer, which is their program that you can use to combine different materials. So you can use it to add like roots and other things like that on top of your materials. And uh, they have a whole library, not just of materials, but also of different like context models and other things like that, that you can bring in as well as like decals and other things that you can combine using their Mixer program in order to make really realistic materials. So they also operate on a, um, um, I think they have a monthly payment system um, and you get a certain number of credits. Um, one of the interesting things about Megascans is they have um, what's called these collections. And these collections are a combination of different assets that you can put together in a scene. So a lot of people that use programs like Unreal Engine or stuff like that, um, use things like this but they come um, with different like uh, 3d model assemblies but also with different materials that kind of match up with those and i apologize my internet is super slow but um so mega scan stuff is super high quality as well i think they do photo scanning of these different materials i think polygon does the same thing so if you're looking for a uh, very very detailed textures and materials you can go to one of those um, programs as well and you can also download I think you can download Mixer for free right now. So if you want to download Mixer and kind of mess around with combining different materials and we'll see if any of these actually load up in time for me to show you. But like this one, for example, has combined like a concrete material with different wares and other things like that. So you can use this Mixer program in order to combine those. And I will link to that in the notes down below. So that's where I'm going to end this video. I will put links to all of these in the notes down below. So if you want to go check them out, out, but leave a comment and let me know where you're getting your textures if there are any resources that I missed I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week but as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch this I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video thanks guys